What's up guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to another Ghost Recon Breakpoint news video. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about the uh, changes to the gunsmith that um, Ubisoft announced yesterday. So, a lot of interesting stuff in this update, but before I get into that, I just wanted to apologize for the lack of video content. Uh, especially over the last month, it's been absolute hell at work. Uh, I've just been drained at the end of the day so i haven't really had the time or it well i've had the time but not the energy to make video content and i do apologize for that that being said i do have next week off uh, as vacation so i'm definitely going to be getting back on the grind pumping out uh more videos and content and as well as catching up on some of my older projects as well that i haven't finished yet so look forward to that and again sorry for the delay it's been kind of rough so anyway we've got the uh, gunsmith update that they've got coming out with the uh, update on july 15th that's going to be coming out so a lot of stuff here so let's just jump straight into it so we've got trigger customization uh so um basically this only covers some of the smgs and ars which it's definitely a good start i was kind of hoping they would do everything uh, as far as like all the ARs and all of the uh, submachine guns so little bit disappointing would have loved to see the assault variants get a single shot um, option but it's definitely a good start uh, so you've the SMGs you've got the MP5 the MP7 MPX Scorpion Evo 3 CQC and the main version the UMP and the vector vector shorty and this guy right here the echelon SMG which is interesting because as far as i'm aware there isn't an echelon smg in the game so it looks like uh we're going to be getting that particular weapon in the next update as well as a few others in the um it as mentioned in this um title update um post um which honestly i was expecting to get new weapons in this coming update because there's probably going to be the live event coming around at the same time and with the last two major updates the deep state dlc and the terminator events we got new weapons so um so yeah i was i was expecting new weapons so i guess this is going to be one of them the echelon SM, smg so that'll be fun to play with there's going to be a bunch of things coming in this update that are going to be fun to play with so anyway with the uh, assault rifles that have an additional burst automatic fire option uh, we've got the 416, the 416 Shorty, the 516, the 553, 803 Bren, A2, AK-12, G36C, M4A1, Mark 17, Tavor, VSD12, uh, D2, if I can freaking talk, and the regular Silver Stake. I was hoping the Silver Stake Tactical would get a um, auto, automatic and uh, single fire option, but... Again, they kind of limited it to uh, just the default stock sort of weapons, aside from that one variant right here, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, that said, the burst usually isn't too bad. I kind of I've played around with the burst, especially on the assault variants. It's not too bad. So I mean, I guess it depends on which assault variant you're firing. Like the 416 assault, the burst on that is actually decent. So it's still not my favorite firing mode, but I've grown to appreciate it, especially for a stealth gameplay. Anyway. Uh, next up, we've got four and angled grip, so basically they moved it a little bit forward, which is good. Just a small quality of life detail, because that was really annoying to see. Having to vort the uh, four grip so close to the uh, magwell, it just, no, you, you don't do that. What would be the point? You would just you could just grab the magwell at that point, you might as well do that. Uh, so yeah, just a small quality of life change. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, changes are going to affect the assault rifles, submachine guns, and shotguns. I don't think you can put... Well, actually, you know, you can't put four grips on DMRs, but it didn't really have that issue. Um, so here we go. So next up, we've got um, a bunch of new um, attachments for us to play with. So starting off, we've got some muzzle devices, the control shield um for the assault rifle and the new muzzle brake for the sniper rifle which will be f interesting to play with if we don't really get to see a uh what the muzzle brake looks like i don't think it's going to be that different from the one that's in the regular game we'll see uh the control shield is interesting it, you can see uh nomad firing a burst uh right there i don't know what's going to do but it'll be fun to play with so 
it's going to appear on the uh, factory and shorty models. Um, this will fa- basically the factory models are like the sort of non-variant standard weapons that you could find in the game, and some of the shorty um, variants of that. So you got 416, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, SE 20K. It's not going to be on the SE 40K, which is a little bit disappointing. And that's one thing I kind of don't like uh, about this update. Uh, I kind of wish they would just open up everything for everything. You know, like have it on like all of the guns. Like if you could put it on all the guns, why not? Like uh, it would it would have been neat to see the control shield muzzle on like all of the different guns that could accept like a muzzle device. So. A little bit disappointing, uh, but oh well. Uh, 805 Bren, AK-74, Rx-200, Mark-17, etc. Whatever. Um, and then the muzzle brakes for all the regular sniper rifles in the game. Uh, none of the variants. So, like, it, this isn't going to be going on the Scorpio Scout. So, whatever. Uh, additional scopes, which is interesting. So, we've got three that we're going to play with. The X... The SLX-5 sight, the Leopold, and the uh, VC-16. So, first up, we've got the SLX-5. Um, compact ACS, ACSS magnified sight. So, this is probably going to be a um, kind of like the ACS, ACSS scope in the game, where it only has like one magnification setting, which is a little bit um, disappointing. Uh because that, that particular scope should be variable power, uh, and this one looks like it's going to be uh, just stuck at that one magnification setting, which is a little disappointing. Um, also, there's a bunch of scope shadow in this one, so I'm not really digging it too much. We'll, we'll see how it actually handles uh, in-game, but with that one, you're gonna it's going to be on LMGs, uh, pretty much all of them, which is pretty neat. Well, most of them. It's not on the uh, shorty LMGs. Uh, but it's going to be on most of them. So that'll be interesting. I think some of them have an option for an ACOG, like the uh, Stoner Shorty does, and maybe one or two of the others. But uh, there's, like, no digital scope option. So if you want a magnified sight on your LMG, um, this will be the way to go. You can also put it on DMRs. Um, interesting enough, um, they're grouping the uh, 556 DMRs with assault rifles. I don't know if this is going to be a change where the uh, scout um, rifles will be considered a uh, assault rifle instead of a DMR, which will be interesting if they do that because um, how do I how do I put this? Uh, it will be interesting if they do that because um, because just how how you play with sharpshooter, um, you'll lose out on some of the bonuses, and obviously you won't be able to use the armor piercing bullets. Um, with that, with the, the uh, sharpshooter's ability, excuse me. Uh, so that that would be interesting. Kind of a wait and see on how they do that. I don't know why they grouped it like this because it's technically a DMR. Um, but maybe they're making that division uh, in the update. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be on all of the DMRs, unless I'm forgetting one. I think this is all of them in the game, with the, the 762 DMRs, and it's going to be on some SMGs, which is an interesting choice and that's kind of the weird thing like I, I said this earlier but all the uh unless there's like a clipping issue where it's going to collide where the uh, scope or optic is going to collide into part of the weapon like for instance if like a long scope uh like the t5xi on the m4a1 that could clip into the front sight so obviously that wouldn't work out in real life but if there's no issues like that you should be able to put any optic you want um on the game on any weapon you want as long as it's not a clipping issue, if, um, at least in my opinion, uh, I don't see any good reason why. Well, I guess I guess because of PvP balance, which I think drives a lot of the decisions behind uh, what attachments go on what gun in this game. But interesting enough, this optic will be able to go on the MP5, the bullpup, the bullpup PDR, and the MPX tactical. So, a bit of a weird choice. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see um, with that. Next up, we've got the uh, Leopold, so this is basically a regular red dot that looks a lot like the um, the uh, the holographic sight red dot for the um, for the Mark 14 termination. Uh, so I guess that's what they base that one particular red dot on. So this is coming to the game, which is pretty neat. Uh, an actual reflex sight of quality as opposed to the one weird uh, Chinese-made 
cheap red dot that they always throw in their games, which is a little weird. Um, it's going to be on many of some of the SMGs, uh, most of them. I, again, another mention of the Echelon 9 SMG. Actually, did I mention... Did I see any new weapons? Okay, not yet, because there's a few more things mentioned. The Vitez is the uh, um, 9mm 8K SMG. Uh, so in case anyone's confused about that, uh, doesn't look like it's going to go on the control room vector, which is a little disappointing, but it's going to be on all the shotguns, uh, at least the regular shotguns, uh, and the shorty variants. Again, this should be on all of the assault rifles. Uh, but this one, the VC-16, this is one I've been looking forward to. I've been really wanting in the game. So you've got an actual... Honest to God, won the six power scope, which I have wanted since Breakpoint was announced, and I'm really looking forward to playing with this. So it looks like you have a wild field, uh, a wide field of zoom on this on this one. So it's going to be like performing like one of the uh, larger uh, sniper rifle scopes. Um, so this is basically going to be, <laughs> I think, the most overpowered uh, scope in the game because. As we all know, the highest magnification you can have in the game is 6 power uh, with the T5XI. So um, so this is basically going to replace all of my scopes on all my sniper rifles and assault rifles. So it will be interesting to see how this plays in CQC because of some of the uh, scope shadows. So I'm looking forward to testing this guy out. Um, anything else that comes to mind? So yeah. Uh, yeah, so, because this is going to replace everything because, you know, you have six power only on sniper rifles, which is a little restrictive and hard to, uh, aim accurately at distance. It would be less overpowered, uh, is what I'm trying to say. It would be less overpowered if, um, the sniper rifle scopes had higher magnification values. So, that's a change I'd like to see in the gunsmith, have, like, greater magnification for sniper rifle scopes. Anyway, I've babbled on enough about this. So, um... Snipers, rifles, it's going to go on all of them. The Vitrix, I think, is the Scorpio Scout. Uh, it's not a new sniper rifle as far as I'm aware. Um, again, it's going to go on all of the... Uh, f the uh, as far as assault rifles, it's going to go on the, all of the Scout variants. Interesting and Interestingly enough, there's an M4A1 Scout rifle mentioned here, which I don't think is in the game yet. So that's going to be cool. It's also going to be on the AK-74 and SC-20K. I would, again, this needs to be on all of the assault rifles because it's an assault rifle scope. With that particular scope, it's designed for assault rifles. I would love to have this on my 416 assault. That would just be cool. Um, but yeah, it's going to be on all the DMRs. So basically, it's going to be a sniper rifle DMR scope. Which, a little disappointing, but oh well. It's still going to be fun to play with. Uh, Fervor Gunsmith Editions, so the grenade launcher, the M203 is going, and the 50 round extended mag is going to be available on shorty variations, which is cool. Obviously, you'll have to deal with more recoil, but the shorty variations have little recoil, so it makes them a little bit more useful in gameplay. So that's a good change. Uh, so they're going to add the SOCOM Mini. So for everyone who has wanted a suppressor on the assault um, variants in the game, um, you're going to get that, which will be pretty cool. Um, I was I was honestly fine with not having a suppressor on it, but it'll be fun to play with those weapons again when they're suppressed. And it'll make them a little bit more useful. And <laughs> the Mad Lads added a 100-round extended magazine for selected assault rifles because 50 rounds wasn't enough. We have to make our assault rifles into an LMG now. So um, that'll be interesting. It's most likely you're going to have to deal with a lot more recoil, but I could see this being very good for the raid where, um, you know, with the LMG's um, damage nerf, this could essentially replace an LMG and you would do more damage, maybe. Uh, or at least the same amount of damage as the uh, LMG. So, anyway, so SOCOM Mini is going to be unlocked by default if you have the related weapon blueprint, so no need to buy anything. Um, the M203, which I pretty much all of you have probably bought by now, is going to be in the shop. Uh, 100 round extended magazine is going to be in the shop. If you've already purchased 
um, the grenade launcher and 50 round mag, it'll be automatically unlocked, so you won't need to buy it again, which makes sense. Um, so yeah, those weapons are going on. Oh, another weapon, the M4A1 Shorty, which... Again, note the new weapon doesn't exist in the game currently. So that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, so it's going to go on all the shorty variants. The SOCOM Mini is going to go on all of the assault variants in the game. At least I think this, these are all of the assault variants. I wonder if, in case with the M4A1 S ASU, I wonder if it's going to show up on the uh, Valor rifle. The one that you got for uh, pre-ordering the game. Um, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, and of course the... All the assault rifle shorty variants. Um, again, another mention of the M4A1 shorty. Um, so I think that's going to be another new weapon coming out. So we've got the M4A1 scout, the shorty, and the echelon SMG, which we could expect to see in this update, which will be pretty interesting. And maybe we'll get more weapons. We'll have to see. And the 100 extended round mag for the ASR is going to go on, the, on three weapons, 416, the 553, which is... Um, interesting because that requires that's not like an AR M4 um, magazine system it, you have to like kind of lock it in so wonder if they're going to have a different um, magazine model where is it okay it's in this uh, gif right here yeah um, that's interesting hmm whatever and of course the M4A1 as well as going to be some further uh, improvements in bug fixing. So interestingly enough, uh, the AK-47 Assault is going to be an SBR in the uh, next update, which will be interesting. Uh, look forward to seeing that. Uh, added the grenade launcher to the 416 CQC, which is a little weird because CQC is a different abbreviation from the uh, shorty. So I don't know if they meant CQC if they meant the 416 shorty in this uh thing because it'll be kind of redundant to mention both um or if we're getting or if that's going to be another variant there's also a 516 cqc here i think they mean the shorty it's it's weird that it, it's weird I, I don't get it um total retake of the weapons ui icons okay whatever update on four and angled grips on all okay that we've talked about it earlier um hand placement is better so you're not going to look as goofy and like trying to like overstrain your arm which is always a good thing uh just additional polishing um they modified the 416 uh and evo 3 tack side picatinny position move hands to avoid overlapping so okay so they 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 modified that uh i think it's this right here uh the 516 uh shorty I'm not noticing a huge difference, but it could be just it, it could just be me. I don't know. Um, there's a framing update in Gunsmith's hidden menu mode. Don't know what that is. I don't know. Uh, retakes on the G36 and 553 underbarrel Picatinny rails. Whatever. Uh, and they fixed the uh, grenade launcher placement, which you can see right here. They moved it closer to the trigger to the uh, magwell excuse me which is how it's supposed to be because then because that little thing on the uh I, I, why why did i point when i could just use my cursor the little thing right there would just fall straight down in real life it wouldn't just stay hanging like that at least from what i understand because i never served in the military so i've never had the opportunity to be in the same room as an m203 grenade launcher so i assume that's the case uh, that this would just fall down, at least from what I've read. Uh, so now this is not going to happen. So a little bit of extra realism and um, basically just doing things correctly, which is always a good thing. Add extended mags to M4A1 and MPX tactical variations. Um, did they mention that earlier? No, nah, I don't think they did. Yeah, because they mentioned assault rifles here. So, okay, so the MPX is going to get... Um, additional magazines and they fix an animation issue whatever okay this is this is interesting right here so they replaced so they're replacing attachments with other attachments here which i say if you can if it can fit on the rail as far as under barrel attachments go it should just be there like just i don't understand why they'd have to do that uh, where they have to replace um certain attachments with other attachments just 
put all the attachments on the underbarrel rail if it can fit there. Like, um, yeah, th- I, these these uh, should have should have been just straight up added, and it would have taken less work probably uh, than just straight up removing it. So it's a little bit disappointing. So the skeleton angled grip, which is a re- raid reward, that's going to be removed from the MP5. Um, not that it was that great to begin with, and replaced with the RVG foregrip. Uh, and the hair of foregrip is going to be gone. This is actually decent. It's it's goofy looking, but it has good stats. And basically just adding the uh, RVG on there. And some other bug fixes, whatever, you can all read this. Uh, Future of the Gunsmith, beyond additions to the Gunsmith at 2, title update 2.0.1. We can expect further changes to Gunsmith this fall. So I'm thinking that's going to be either September or October. Maybe November, but I, I think October is more likely. Uh, and that's most likely when we're going to get the uh, Transcendence update. Uh, so we can expect addition of customization for stocks. So everyone who wanted to customize your stocks, that's good. Um, most likely going to be folding stocks and stuff like that. Uh, further underbarrel compatibility and variety. So again, add everything to everything. Let let us use whatever underbarrel attachments we want on whatever gun we want. And new attachment options, which is always good. That's always going to be fun to play with. And more. So, all right. I've rambled on for 21 minutes uh, just going over all these changes. Lovely. Uh, (laughs) So, overall, this is a good start. I'm looking forward to playing with some of these options. Definitely the scopes and the uh, muzzle devices. Uh, And, yeah, this is a good step forward. It's um, not... we're, We're getting closer to the Wildlands Gunsmith. Uh, system we're not there yet but it's a good start and given that everything else they were are working on i'm not expecting anything dramatic to begin with so pretty cool um definitely looking forward to playing with all the new uh scopes that one to six Mm, nice nice uh (laughs) So, yeah, I think that about covers it. I'm not going to keep you guys much longer. But, yep, those are my thoughts. Good changes. um, Good first step. Hopefully, we can see more um, positive changes for the gunsmith. uh, Something just more modular and stuff like that. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you all for watching. Look forward to more content. I'm definitely going to be covering AI teammates, all the new attachments. Uh, probably the live event, because I'm assuming the live event is coming in this update. Um, definitely going to be covering that. Uh, streaming and doing videos, all that good stuff. I'm also going to, um, live stream Ubisoft Forward. Um, as, at least the uh, pre-show, which is when they're going to show off, um, the Ghost Recon, um, update. So going to do that in the pre-show. Uh, let me actually pop up the, uh... Oh, I, I clicked it out, so it's not going to, um, it's not going to, to um, show up. But anyway, it's, it's going to be at the pre-show, which is 11 Pacific time, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. I think that's about 2 o'clock in Eastern Standard Time where I live, so, um, yeah, look forward to that. I've rambled on long enough, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys soon. I promise you I'm going to be back. <laughs> And um, yeah, take care, guys.